everybody. I hope that you all had a really good New Year's and happy holidays to everyone. Um, I can't believe it's already 2015. I know I say this like every month that I can't believe the time is flying so fast, but it really is flying fast. So I'm going to hop right into my 2014 favorites and I'm going to start off with my skincare products because last year was the year of really nice skin for me. So um, I have some really cool stuff to share with you guys. So the first thing is this personal microderm that I got from, I don't remember if it was Neiman Marcus or Nordstrom, I have to look it up online and then I will post everything that I talk about in the video description below. But this was around $200 to $250, I don't really remember, but it was worth every dime that was spent on this. It pretty much, like, if you don't really know what a personal microderm is, it just like takes all of the top layer of the dead skin off of your face and it kind of like takes it in like a vacuum and it leaves you with like fresh baby looking skin and it's so nice so if you have any acne problems or any uneven skin like texture issues or whatever definitely use this it is unbelievable the next thing i think i spoke about this in my november favorites video um, this is my unwrinkle lip treatment cream it is by peter thomas roth that i got this from ulta um, this is amazing. It's an eight week treatment and you put it on twice a day and you only put on a little bit and it takes out all the little wrinkles in your lips and that way whenever you put on lipstick and it does this permanently. It's not just like um, it's not the way like a primary works for your face. It actually permanently takes away the wrinkles and it works unbelievably. When you put on lipstick and stuff, you don't see any of the cracks in your lips or anything like that. It doesn't dry out as fast. You put it on, you do feel a little bit of tingling, like a little bit of a weird sensation, but that's supposed to happen. Don't freak out and think that you're allergic to it or dying or something like that. If your lips start to tingle, it happens to everybody and that's just what is showing that it's actually really kicking in and it's really starting to work. This facial clay mask, this is avocado and oatmeal. I got this from CVS? Yeah, I got this from CVS and I've had I've gone through a few bottles of this. It's literally just a regular avocado green mask and it leaves your skin feeling so soft and the next day like if you have any discoloration issues or any dryness, it really helps fix that problem. And this thing was only like 7 bucks from CVS. So I'm going to look up online the cheapest place to get it even though it was already cheap to begin with and I will post it down in the description below. If you have any skincare problems and you're on a budget, then I would definitely recommend looking into this. This next product I know I've also raved about, about in a bunch of videos, but this is my Elizabeth Arden Visible Difference Moisturizing Eye Cream. I've been using this every morning and every night, so when I first wake up, wash my face, I put this on before I do my makeup, and then after I wash my face at night and take all my makeup off, I use this before I go to bed. And this has made the biggest difference as far as under eye circles go. Not that it's completely gotten rid of my under eye circles because you can kind of see it like right in here, um, more by the area of my tear duct. But the darkness in my circles have definitely gone away 100%. And I know this isn't really skincare, but the 3D Crest White Strips in the um, Lux Glamorous White, it says it whitens 25 times better. This stuff is unbelievable. I use each strip. Um, for an hour. I use it about once a week and it makes the biggest difference in my teeth. If your teeth are more sensitive then I would definitely take like a longer break like I do and take a week off before you reuse them again but I, so I wouldn't use it every day but it is amazing and it's well worth the money. You hear a bunch of noise in the background. This is my cat going absolutely insane running around in circles around my room right now. She does this all the time. The next thing is this Maybelline Baby Skin um, instant pore eraser primer so if you're like me and you love the smashbox hd primer and they have like a bunch of different options for like hydrating and for color correction and whatnot so that's really good for that but if you just use the plain clear um primer sorry i'm getting so distracted because of my cat running around right now if you just use that this is literally almost the same exact thing and i think it almost has the same exact ingredients as well it comes with a little bit less product than the smashbox one comes with but this is six dollars or maybe five dollars and the smashbox one is way more expensive than that so this is definitely a really great alternative for that so my next section is my favorite hair products and i'm only going to show two things because even though there's a bunch of stuff that i loved i feel like these two things are something that i would really really push for people to go out and buy so the first thing is this wet brush and this is like a few bucks you can get it at like cvs walgreens or wherever the heck you feel like getting it um i never used to use a wet brush i used to just always use either like the 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 boar bristle brush you know you know what i'm talking about right 
I used to use that when my hair was wet or I would just brush it out with like a regular brush and my hair was always like so knotty when I first got out of the shower especially because my hair is like ridiculously long now um, it never used to be this long and then it got really long and thick and I will explain why in a minute um, but this stuff is so good you don't feel your hair pulling it doesn't like your hair doesn't rip it doesn't break none of that this is perfect for wet hair um, it doesn't hurt even if you have a bunch of knots in your hair, it doesn't hurt when you're brushing through it. So this stuff is awesome and it's not going to break your hair. So go get it if you don't have it. The next thing are these Fido hair and nail pills. Okay, it is Fido Fenari. I think that's how you pronounce it. I could be totally wrong, but whatever. We'll just spell it. And as long as you can go and get it and try it, that's all that matters anyway. Um, so this one comes with 120 caplets. This is, I think this is the $60 bottle. So it's a little bit more on the pricey side. Um... This you can get at either Sephora, where did I get this? I got this from Nordstrom. I keep reordering it from Nordstrom, I don't really know why. Oh, and you can also get it from Ulta. But I will find the cheapest place that you can buy it for the smallest amount and place it in the description box because if you are trying to make your hair grow and you're trying to get it to be a lot thicker and healthier and shinier and also your nails to be stronger and your skin to be better, this is amazing. I know a lot of people have been taking just straight biotin or they take the hairfinity pills and the only difference between this one and those is that those both have biotin in it and those are both like almost strictly biotin. They have some other products, other um, they have some other supplements in it but it's not as effective as this one because when you're taking vitamins you need to have another vitamin to activate your, the vitamin that you're taking. So like if you're taking um, like what's an example I don't know like if you look up like if you have to have zinc because you're trying to break a cold or whatever you need to also have another vitamin to activate the zinc to start working you can't just have it on its own it won't be as effective as it would be if you had another vitamin so this one has everything that you would need to activate everything in this one pill so you take two of them a day I take them both I typically take them at night it says to take them in the morning but I always forget in the morning and I don't eat breakfast when I'm at home I eat breakfast when I'm on my way to work if your stomach is sensitive like me then you will probably throw up so um, you need to take this with food so I take it at night I take it after I have dinner it says to take it in the morning but I take it at night anyway and I've seen the biggest difference in my hair it's crazy so for my next favorites, I'm going to go into my fashion favorites, and I have one favorite dress that I've really, really loved. Well, I have two favorite dresses here, but um, this one is like a little bit fancier, I guess. I've showed this in, I think I showed this in a favorites video or a haul video, I don't remember. Um, this is a white dress. This is from that store Cara that I told you guys about. I don't know if they have a Cara online. I don't think they do because I can't seem to find one anywhere, but I'm going to try to find a link to this dress or a link to this company, although I still can't find it. But I'm gonna do my best to like research something or find something like it because I get so many compliments every time I wear this dress and it's so structured. It's like, it's not structured where it's like Lady Gaga-ish, but it's got like, you know, a nice, edge around the shoulders and everything is lace and everything is straight and it's a-line but it's not too tight and I don't really like dresses that are too too tight because um you know a lot of the times I'm doing appearances and you need to look a little bit more like professional rather than looking like I'm going out somewhere to like a club or something. So I have two favorite books from this year. Um, the first one is Kate, a biography. This is a biography on Kate Middleton of course. Um, she, I, I love her. She's like my idol in life and like everything that she does in life. So I really wanted to read up more about her. And this is really detailed, this book. It kind of gives you a briefing on her whole life. And I like the fact that it's not just on her role as a princess, but her role as, or as the Duchess of Cambridge. Um, but it's her just her and what she has been her whole life and what she's done that had led up to that point and now what she's doing. So it's just a really nice overview of her life. So I really like this book. Um, my second favorite book is The Secret. I read this book last year. This is by Rhonda Byrne. Um, I'm going to be doing a book review, uh, I don't know when, sometime this month there's a book review gonna, that I'm going to be posting about The Secret because I feel like this is a book that everybody needs to read if you haven't already read it and you know I know some people aren't into the believing about the whole law of attraction thing which is what the book is about but I can explain it to you to make you understand that even if you don't believe in that kind of stuff um, that it's something that is worth looking into. So the next thing that I wanted to go into are my tech favorites which are on my iPad 2 Air. Is that what I have? No iPad. 
iPad 2 Air. Is that what I have? I don't know what I have. iPad Air. iPad 2 Air. iPad Air 2. I couldn't, I don't know why I could not say that word. That was so weird. Okay, so um, I've been really, really obsessed with Hulu. Everybody knows what Hulu is, but I watch that more on my laptop. That way I don't have to hold anything up. Even though I do have a stand for my iPad, I just, I don't know, I watch it on my laptop more. Um, for shopping, I've been using the Winello app. If you don't know what Winello is, it's kind of like, you know when you go on like Instagram or Pinterest and you see like all these like beautiful pictures of things and you're like, oh, I wish I knew where that, where I can go buy that. Um, I know that Pinterest mainly has that, but sometimes Pinterest's items are linked to blogs rather than actual um, shopping sites. So Winello, whenever you see something that you like, this, these are all linked to actual shops, which I love. I think that's like really, really cool. Um... Yeah, so you can buy everything straight from there, and you can save everything onto different boards. It's a lot like Pinterest, except for the fact that you can buy everything that you see. So it's really interesting. And they have things that are so different that you don't find everywhere. Um, the next thing, the next app that I use is my Monopoly app. I'm obsessed with Monopoly. Um, if anybody wants to play me in Monopoly, you can like link through some type of like password type thing. So if you want to play me Monopoly, let me know in the comments below, and you're going to get your butt beat. So the next app is my Evernote app, and I actually use Evernote for a bunch of different reasons. Like I put like to-do lists or little projects or even my YouTube stuff um, or my pageant stuff, which I don't really want to show you my pageant stuff. I can't really show you what I'm wearing or anything like that. But if you look at the Evernote app, it just allows you to organize your life and put up to-do lists and pictures and um, notes and all these different things. So if you're doing, if you're working on something, you can put everything into one notebook through your iPad and it's really really great so it's really good for organization. My next app, I've actually had this app for quite a long time but I haven't been using the stylus pen and since I started using the stylus pen um, I really really love this app. So it's the paper app. It says like 53. This is what the app um, cover photo thing looks like. Um, so if you go to the app store and download it, the app itself is free, but then they do have in-app purchases for like different things. And you could like draw, you know, like you can draw a bunch of different things and that, and it's like your own notebook or whatever. I don't know why I just drew a line over that, whatever. It still looks pretty. So it's really, really cool. You have your own notebook and whatever, and you could have a bunch of different notebooks. So you can make sketches, you can write ideas, you can actually write out things in a notebook. And if you get the stylus pen, it's a lot easier to use than your actual finger because it's like using an actual pen, um, but you can still use your finger if you want, and I really, really love that app because sometimes I'll be sitting there at work and I hope my boss isn't watching, but I get really, really bored, so I'll just sit there and I'll start drawing about, like, a bunch of different things, start drawing sketches, start drawing what I want my room to look like or whatever, draw whatever comes to mind, and that's just fun for me. It's kind of my zen, which I really, really like as well. So. That is the end of my 2014 favorites video, and I hope everybody had a really good New Year's. We're going to have so much fun this year, and I will see you guys in my next video, which is going to come online next week. If you guys have any suggestions of video ideas that you want to see this year, let me know in the comments below. Bye!